You're listening to the 121st edition of the Bitochen Podcast. And here we come to the final Pasuk of this chapter in Tehillim, chapter 23, verse 6. Ach, however, goodness and kindness will chase after me all the days of my life. And I will sit in the house of Hashem for long days. And often when we speak about what are long days, it means the days of eternity, the days of the world to come, the days after this present life, which is a short, a short time, not a, it's short days, this life. But I'll be able to, to be in a spiritual place, says David HaMelech, for all times, for all eternity. The Red Dak. I thank you, Hashem, for the good that you gave, gave me until today. But there's something that I ask of you. I would like to request to you, Hashem, that the good that you've given me, the good that I'm thanking you for, not be a one-time good, not be a limited good, but rather it, let it be something which I experience all of my days, all of, all of the days of my life. Let no battles from involvements in regular worldly matters, let them not cause me any distraction. Because I want to be able to sit in the house of God, I want to be able to pursue spiritual matters for long days, so it sounds like the Radak is understanding Arach Yemim in, in a simple understanding. I want to be able to spend the length of my days, the, the main part of my time, on spiritual pursuits. I would like to be able to sequester myself there, to be alone, with the Torah, with spirituality, with you Hashem. So that I can prepare my heart and my thoughts for your service, for serving you, Hashem, and to unify you. That's the Radak. Beautiful. So, Hashem, give me good. Continue to give me good. Always give me good. Why? So that I can serve you properly, so that I can invest my efforts into spiritual matters. The Svorno. Ach Anama The main thing. The only thing that I ask for, toiv, lekach toiv. What's good? What's this ach toiv? What is the good thing? Says this forno that I'm requesting of Hashem. It means the lekach toiv. What's the lekach toiv? We refer to it. Ki lekach toiv, nasati lachem. What is that good mekach? That good thing to acquire. It's a reference to the Torah. It's a reference to Hashem's teachings to us, the spiritual teachings of the Torah and wisdom. So I want that. I want that good. I also want the kindness of Hashem. That Hashem gave me all of my physical needs, all of those things that I need in the, spirit, in the physical realm. I need the Torah, that's Toiv. I need the spiritual needs, that's tough, that's good. But I also need kindness, and that's my physical needs to be taken care of. Your Dafuni, interesting, says the Sforno, the Pasuk is a request. David Amalek is asking Hashem, please let me have all my spiritual matters and all my physical matters taken care of, and let them chase me. So he understands this to mean, Bilti Hishtadlus. I would like all of these things to come to me without my efforts. I would like you, to, Hashem, to just see that I have bitachon in you, that I trust you, that I know it's going to happen, and I'm not going to need to put in any effort. It's just going to come to me. V'shav t'bevez Hashem. And what is the result of having spiritual pursuits, all my physical uh, means taken care of? The result is that I'll be able to sit 
in the house of Hashem. I'll be able to focus myself on spiritual matters, as we said. The Rab in Ramuch says, Ach miutu. There's a however over here. However, let good and kindness chase after me. What is this however? There's a condition through which I would like you, Hashem, to do good and kindness for me. And that is, the condition is because I want to be able to focus on your Torah. To work at your Torah. Shnekres Torah. He also says, What is Torah? Torah is that which is called good. Veshtadav Gemilas Hasadim. I want to be able to be involved and working hard at Torah and at doing kindness. Ad she'eknei samikin and chazok. Interestingly, he kind of switches it. The Svorno said, I would like these things to come to me without my efforts. But the Rabbin Ramach says, No. I want to be able to work hard at learning Torah. I want to be able to work hard at doing kindnesses for people. Why? Because in this way, I will acquire these things, right? The things that we work hard for, the things that we focus on, the things that take effort. Those are the things that ultimately we feel satisfaction. Like this is something that I, I, I got. This is something that I worked hard for. So he's saying that David Amalek is praying, look, I want to be able to have these things. I want to have Torah. I want to have Chesed. I want to work at receiving them, at giving them, being involved in them. But I want it to get to the point where it just comes naturally, where it doesn't require as much effort. It's just, it's flowing. I'm looking for that flow. I'm looking for the good in my life to, you know, we've, we've got, we know how to do it. We know how to serve Hashem. We get up in the morning, we go to Davin, we learn, we work to be my friends, our families. We are involved in our families. We have food on our table, but there's a rhythm to it. There's a sense that we're doing things right. We're getting satisfaction from it and it's flowing. That's what it seems that Ben Ramach is saying. The Torah Melch is asking for it. Like, let these spiritual matters, let the Torah, let the Gashmias, the physical matters, let it flow. Let everything be in a state of flow. Now, I'd like to share with you, there's a lot of different things here on this final section, on this final Pasuk, but I'd like to focus here on something that the Chavitz Chaim says. He brings some of the Chavitz Chaim and he brings some footnotes about it as well. Chavitz Chaim says a twist on this Pesach as to what the verse is talking about. Sometimes a person, it seems like he's, going, he, he's undergoing difficulties because of the fact that he did good. Right? You know, we expect or we want, when I do what's right, so everything should just be good for me. Everything should just flow. Nobody should bother me. I should be able to do what's right. It should just, it should just go smoothly for me, which is kind of what we just said in the other portion. But the Chavitz Chaim says, sometimes it happens that because I've done good, I become a nirdaf. I become somebody that people chase. I did what was right. I chose the right path. And yet, people around me are upset at me, or people around me are belittling me, or people around me are chasing me, trying to stop me from doing what's right. person can be chased because of the fact that he did what's right, what's good and what's right. Chavis Chaim tells us an interesting thing. He said, every person, it's decreed upon them that they're going to undergo and they're going to have to go through a certain amount of difficulties in their life. They're going to have to go through a certain amount of being chased by others, being, being belittled by others, being mistreated by others. The question is, how do you want that to come? It is a better thing. It's the best thing. 
You're going to have these things, these difficulties, these challenges. You're going to have people who are your enemies no matter what. So it might as well be that you're doing what's right. You're doing toy v'chesed. You're involved in good and kindness. And that's the source of the challenges that you experience. And, not, and, and let it not come from other sources. Zeh pshut ha'shom Interestingly, the Chavis Chaim says, this is the simple understanding of this verse. That my whole life, the difficulties that I'm going to go through, the challenges I'm going to have, let them come because I'm doing that which is good and that which is right, the kindness and the Torah. Let it be that that's what people have a hard time with me because I'm an action, I'm tough when it comes to doing what's right and doing what's good. And he brings... In the notes here, by going to Stipler Kosov, be Igeris, Perish Zemeh Chavetz Chaim. The Stipler brings this explanation of the Chavetz Chaim in the Sefer Kriyon of the Kriyon of the Igrusa, Chelik Beis Mechtav Chavzayin, second section, twenty seventh letter. Leish Shesava Machmas Puulois of Atayra. There's a particular individual who is very active on behalf of Torah causes, and he had tremendous hardships because of it. And he quoted to this person who was having challenges. The stipler wrote to him, he brought him the Chavetz Chaim, and he also brought the Medjish, which says that there's no such thing as a person that doesn't have challenges and difficulties. It's so much better when a person, the, the challenges and difficulties come to him because of Torah, for Torah reasons, for spiritual reasons. The Pashup Shad is, the similar understanding is that um, when I learn Torah, it's a hard thing, it's a difficult thing. There are challenges in learning Torah. A person has to crack their head on it, so to speak. A person may not have the money that he needs because he's busy learning Torah, because he's involved in spiritual pursuits. But the Cyber explained this Medrash, that when difficulties come because of a person's involvement, in learning Torah, fulfilling the commandments. So then, the very difficulties that a person goes through are tremendous merit for the person. Because now, the challenges and difficulties that I'm going through, I'm going through them because of the honor of Hashem, the honor of the Torah. If a person would abandon his service of Hashem, his involvement in Torah learning, his involvement in spiritual matters, which it seems like they're causing him trouble, the difficulties won't pass, they won't go away, he's still going to have those difficulties. They were nixed upon him, they're decreed upon him. They're just difficulties with no purpose. At least when he has the difficulties and it's coming because of the learning that he's doing, because of his involvement in support of uh, Torah scholars or involvement in learning himself personally. So then the challenges that he has have a, have a direction. They have a meaning. But when, they ha- when the person has those challenges and difficulties and, he's not, and it's not because of the Torah learning that he's doing, so then it has minimal purpose. It has minimal meaningfulness to him. Then there's a second note and he says here, See over there, it's in the Chavetz Chaim, in a saver called Chayav Upa'aloi, his life and his works, page 464. And see that it says over there a certain story about a particular Jew. There was a particular Jew named Avram Pinchas Landau. He was from London. He was a very... Uh, distinguished person who was involved in helping out the tzibur, helping out the, the community, helping out ju- people sitting and learning. And his business wasn't doing well. His family said, look, you know why this is happening? It's because you're so involved in Tzarek Tzibur and the community's needs. You're, you're, uh, you're being lax in your attention to our business. 
Vedarshu by Sheikh Nami Pulos of Laman Akal. So his family said to him, Please, you must be stop being so involved <coughs> in the communal affairs. Harayan la matzachem in a venasa levina, la knesi agadayla. He didn't like this idea, so he decided to go to Vina, and he wanted to speak to the Chavetz Chaim. There was some kind of gathering of great rabbis. He reaches the particular location where the Chavetz Chaim was staying, at the at the grandson of the Chassam Sofer, Rabbi Kiva Schreiber. They show us it was Shabbos. It was Shabbos, but the third meal. Matzah Bais Malay and the house was filled with people. Lachish Shosim and Chavetz Chaim is Mordechai David. As Chavetz Chaim finished saying, "Miz Mordechai David," his chil adar, which is actually our Miz Mordechai David, right? That we were discussing here. His chil adar by Advarim and Tzkar Lamal Alach Tev Chesed. So he started to explain the words of the Mimer that he just read. It's for Shalosh Shodas. Which is Achtav Chesed. And he said this word. He said that it's the best thing if the troubles come upon a person because of his involvement in communal matters, in, in Tarchet Tzibur, in, in Torah matters, in spiritual matters. The difficulty is going to come upon him anyway. Shoma Yezois, when this Rabbi Avram Pinchas Landau from London heard this story, when he heard what the Chavis was saying, it was exactly directed to what he needed to hear. This Dazea, Hayehudi Londoni, this London Jew sh- was shaken because he heard the answer to his question without even asking about it. So, it's an incredible thing. Chabz Chaim is teaching us and telling us that we have options of how we receive the challenges in our life. Choose the options, says Chabz Chaim. Choose the option, says David Hamel, King David, that the challenges that come upon us, that no matter what we're going to have to experience, let them come upon us because of our involvement in spiritual matters. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you again next time.